a Shalom Amakim. Hey, first off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, which is named Yahweh. All right, in the name of His only begotten Son, which is Yahweh Shai. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. My name is Brother Yahweh Shai Zion. Is coming through to feed the sheep. All right, and uh, speak to you, brothers, an exhortation and an encouragement. <clears throat> all right. So, what I want to do this lesson for is because. You know, through life's uh, pains and things that, that happen mentally, you know, you, you could be finding yourself in David's situation just like this. You know, this is first Samuel chapter 30 and verse number six it says, and David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord, Yahweh, his power. All right. <clears throat> so that's what it's all about, brothers. You know, encouraging yourself in the Lord. And that's what I want to bring out. You know, so sometimes you got to tell yourself, you know, let's go. You know, let's get it. Don't worry about nobody else trying to put you on and nothing, you know. So the word there is Kazakh. H2, uh, 3, or it's like a H2, H7. Kazakh. All right, verb, it says to strengthen, prevail, harden, be strong, become strong, be courageous, be firm, grow firm, be resolute, be sore. And that's that's exactly what we got to do, man. We have to be strong in the Lord regardless to anything. And, you know, even in our lives, going about our daily routines, man, <clears throat> we have to encourage ourselves. Because nobody's going to wake you up and call you and say, hey, man, what's going on? Hey, let, let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. You know, get up. Let's go. You know, put, put your stuff on. We're about to go for a run. Nobody's going to do that. You got to do it yourself. All right? Sometimes. And in the Lord, like, okay, the Lord, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai got me. You see all these things here to make severe support. He supported himself in the Lord. He strengthened himself to put forth strength. Use one's strength. All right, because we got a lot of inner strength. All right? He was courageous. <clears throat> Strong's definition it says to fasten upon, hence to seize, be strong, figuratively courageous. Cure. Yeah, because sometimes mentally, you'll get beat up mentally and you'll be, you know, coming down on yourself on the opposite spectrum. Like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, I don't think I can make it. You know, I don't think I'm capable of doing this or whatever you know sometimes your mind will mess with you yeah i'll just do a video you know another time or whatever you, you got to strengthen yourself in the lord it's like come on man you you got one in you let's go you got another one man you know you could do two come on you could do two man let's go so you know encourage yourself in the heavenly father and that's a beautiful thing let me see if i can get some precepts to this All right, Psalm 25 and 17, it says, The troubles of my heart, which is his mind, it says, The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Bring thou me out of my distresses. Right, so we're going to call upon the Heavenly Father. We're going to encourage ourselves in the Lord, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. How would you do that? Praying, reading, studying, fasting. All right, giving alms while doing that as well, which is a good, great thing, man. Okay, beautiful thing, man. Um, let me keep seeing if I could get more. Okay, great. Psalm 116 and verse number three and four it says the sorrows of death compassed me and pains of hell got hold upon me. So he might have, he might have been, you know, having pains, man, you know, might have had like a near death experience, you know, because that, that happened to me before. I have seen that realm very very close man on multiple occasions and it's very scary man it's just like you you pretty much fading out of your fading out of here you know it's it's crazy you know because we truly are spirits brothers you know so anyway it says the, sor the sorrows of death compassed me and the pains of hell which is the ground Get hold upon me. 
I found trouble and sorrow. Then called I upon the name of the Lord. O Yahweh, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. That's beautiful, man. Now verse 10, it's just correlating to it. I believed, therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. Okay, so really just verse 4. Then called I upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh. O Yahweh, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Right, because the author and finisher of our faith is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay, really is Yahweh Shai, but you know, ultimately is Yahweh. Okay, because I believe the scriptures say that Yahweh Shai is the author and finisher of our faith. <clears throat> and and why is that? Because he gave his life. You know, Yahweh sent his only begotten Son. The whosoever shall believe upon him who is an Israelite, disclaimer, all right, shall not die but have everlasting life, man. Just absolutely beautiful stuff. So just a quick thing, you know, brothers, just to be encouraged because if you like me, your mind plays certain tricks on it and thinks that people are against you for no reason and <clears throat> thinks like, you know, you're getting on yourself for nothing, you know. You're getting hard on yourself for nothing and then... Why don't you just go the opposite way? <laughs> All right? Encourage yourself in the Lord, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai, man. Because you can absolutely do it. Okay? Coming in the name of the Lord, man. And, and pray to the Heavenly Father. Let me try to get some other scriptures, man, real quick. I believe it's 24. Nope. Here we go. Yeah, Psalm 25, it says... Psalm 25 and verse number one, Psalm of David, unto thee, O Yahweh, do I lift up my soul. Right, right. My, my spirit is in the hands of the Lord. You know, if he wants me to prosper, I'm going to prosper, man. If he wants me to do well, I'm going to do well. This is um, verse two. O my power, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Right, because... There's many of them, and they compassed him. They pretty much cornered him, you know? They tried to corner him, man, and it was all over him, you know? But obviously, the Lord was with him. Okay, verse 3. <clears throat> Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. <clears throat> right, and I was watching um, old school movies like Karate Kid 3. And Miyagi was about to smash... Uh, the sensei, uh, John Kreese. But then he just, he he uh, put his hand back. He drew his hand back. He's like, yeah, nah, I'm not about that. And he goes, why didn't you kill him? He's like, man, you could have killed him, man. He goes, I. He goes, but some people, he goes, who have no forgiveness in their heart. You know, uh, living is worse than death. It's something to this nature. So it's basically death is better for some people. Is the easy way out. Their life and existence is, is the punishment enough. You see? Now, when we live, brothers, we live in triumph in the Lord, man. That's why I say, verse 4, Show me thy paths, O Yahweh, teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the power of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. See what I mean? We waiting on the Lord. We know we're going to make it out because we believe that we are. That's all we need. You know, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. How wish I said it? This is on um, verse six. It says, uh, remember, O Yahweh, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for thy goodness' sake. Oh, Yahweh. And that's beautiful. And that's kind of like Nehemiah had said, you know, remember, remember me, you know, uh, roughly paraphrasing. Remember the, the works, you know, just like Yahweh Shai said, man, rejoice not that the devils are subject unto you, but rather that your names are written in heaven. All right. And that's very uplifting. So that's beautiful. Verse number um, eight, just to uh, pretty much uh, tie it up after this. It says, good and upright is the Lord Yahweh. Therefore, he will teach, he, Shalakia, will he teach sinners in the way? Uh, verse number nine, one of my favorites. The meek will he guide in judgment. In the meek will he teach his way. So, 
Let's just get the word for Meek real quick and I can rap. And Nav, all right, H6035, it says, humble, afflicted, poor, needy, poor, and weak. All right, so it's okay to be lowly, man, and weak, you know. The strip, scriptures say to strengthen the feeble knees. So we're supposed to bring up other brothers, you know, on a level, man, and make them stronger in the Lord, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. You know, we're not supposed to keep this knowledge to ourselves. We got to put you on. We got to make sure you're, you know, to pass the game, so to speak. You were given these talents and these certain things to, uh, to, to, to push out, all right? So, hey, Lord, Lord willing, man, this was edifying. Shalom to you brothers, man. Just a real quick message. You know, I'm, I'm in the middle of my work day, man, but, you know, it is what it is. Baraka tha Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, bless the Heavenly Father. In the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. Thawada Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai for this beautiful knowledge and this truth, man. Shalom to all you brothers. Peace be on to you and you sisters that watch as well. All right, stay strong and don't let nothing affect your mind. And encourage yourself in the Lord, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. On the daily, Shalom.